All right, the pups are out right now, having some fun out there on this warm spring afternoon. You're looking at live pictures from the double ULKY Chopper HD, flying high above Tom Sawyer Park there in eastern Jefferson County. Uh, temperatures on the warm side, mid, even upper 80s for afternoon highs just a few hours ago. We're still very warm, basically in the middle 80s in the metro. So any plans you have the next several hours, and we're talking up until midnight, Number one, it's going to stay dry. It's going to stay plenty warm. Just a slow drop expected from the 80s into the 70s, the deeper we get into this Wednesday evening. 87, the official high. 67 on the low. No rain in the metro. That could be changing, though, a little bit later on tonight. More on that in just a bit. 85 to 86 is the range in town right now. Humidity, 44%. A southwest breeze in here between 10 and 15 miles per hour. Look at the numbers across the Ohio Valley. What a warm day. Lots of 70s and 80s, and those 80s, the mid 80s uh, for the most part. We're still at 85 in town, 84 Vincennes. You go a little farther off to the north, turns a little bit cooler where the clouds have been a bit thicker by late today. 77 in Lafayette and 72 in Fort Wayne. Bottom line, that's still some pretty good stuff all across the Ohio Valley on this May afternoon. A mix of clouds and sunshine out there right now. No rain close to home, but we have a couple of isolated storms trying to fire up on a warm front near Indianapolis back to north of Cincinnati. Those will move off to the northeast. Not worried about those whatsoever. This out here, that's a severe thunderstorm watch. And there's been a number of severe thunderstorm warnings, even a few tornado warnings in southeastern Iowa today. And that is some of the weather that may hold together and move off towards the east-southeast later on tonight. Not expecting a huge blow up of severe storms, but check out the future clouds and radar. Here we are about midnight. Some of that heavier weather may be approaching our northwestern communities. Uh, and yes, uh, a strong storm or two cannot be ruled out. The potential for some wind and some heavy rainfall. And you can see as we move after midnight tonight, absolute greatest coverage will be north of Interstate 64, a scattering of showers and storms, but still a threat here in the metro as well. So don't be surprised if you hear a little bit of thunder, see some lightning after midnight tonight as that uh, band of storms will be working in from the west and northwest on a scattered basis. Don't think everybody's going to get wet tonight. It will be a mild night, middle 60s from top to bottom around the viewing area. And keep the umbrellas handy for tomorrow simply because here comes a cold front as it slowly sags in our direction. That will bring us chances for a few widely scattered showers and storms. It won't rain all day, but the threat will be with us. We'll have a lingering chance on Friday. Great news for the Mother's Day weekend as we're expecting warm and dry weather to make a return. Here are the details of the forecast. All right, this evening looks wonderful. Warm, quiet 80s. We'll settle back into the 70s. 10 o'clock temperatures at 77. It's still dry. After midnight, a scattering of showers and storms will try to invade from the west and northwest. I think we'll wake up dry tomorrow morning. 8 o'clock temperatures around 67. Passing clouds. Still basically dry for the lunch hour at 76. And then tomorrow afternoon, especially later in the day as that front approaches, a scattering of showers and storms appears likely, a 40% chance. Still a lingering threat for a rain shower on Friday. 68 the high, a little bit cooler, but look at your Mother's Day weekend. 73 Saturday and even 80 sunshine on Sunday afternoon. And lots of 80s anticipated to return pretty much all next week.